Good evening everybody, this is RF Mike, and tonight we are going to be comparing the Verizon Tempered Glass Screen Protector to another one I had got offline called AM Film. This is also a tempered glass um, for all you other LG G4 owners out there. I'm sure you guys have probably seen or had at some point a touch sensitivity issue with the LG G4. Um, online they've said oh it could be because of all the uh, carrier software that's built onto the phone just uninstall that and that might clear it up or just every once in a while you'll notice your double tap won't work um, I've seen they said it could be because of the uh, OEM or not the OEM but the carrier tempered glass screen protectors so what we're gonna do here is I'm actually going to end up taking this one off that is on my LG G4. Let's see if we can get a good view of this. I'll end up taking this one off in a um, kind of a, a time lapse video, and we will be putting on another one that I had got. It's actually really hard for me to get a good focus on this for you to see how uh, how this one is. Let me try to. So throw something, put something in the background to get this to focus better. There we go. Um, this is actually a quite a thin tempered glass screen protector on my LG G4. But if I can get this in the right angle, you can see this is not an anti-fingerproof, anti-smudge, like it says here, anti-fingerprint. Yeah, right. It's not seem to be what they say it is. So uh, oleophobic coating on this is very, very low. Not a good high oleophobic coating. The one I picked off online, it's a pretty well uh, highly rated uh, tempered glass screen protector. H9 hardness, scratch resistant, zero bubbles, and ultra clear. I believe this is a super thin tube. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and crack this open and we will uh, take a look at what comes in the box, the package, which you just say on the back here. The film, tempered glass, screen protector, uh, alcohol wipe, dust removal stickers, squeegee card, and installation instructions. Um, from what I saw online, it's all pretty positive reviews. I did get this off Amazon, and of course it only ran a fraction of the price of what it would cost you to get one through your carrier. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot, see what I think. If anything, there's always more efficiency. There's more out there to try. I'm not gonna bother taking off these two upper tabs unless I really need to, which we just might. Maybe I'll we'll pull this apart completely. And get that one. And there we go. The cover, back plate, everything is inside. So this is everything we need in here. And as for the tempered glass, this is actually quite very, very thin. So this might be worth the money. This was only uh, $8, I believe. Oh yeah, that is super thin. Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's actually thinner than, uh, I think it's actually thinner than what came on, the, than what I have on the phone right now. Oh yeah. Alright, so I will do a time lapse video on this and we will see how my screen sensitivity is. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, so just to show that I am having trouble with sometimes it recognizing my touch, we'll wake it up and close it a few times. See, so it didn't recognize that last one. Unlock. Let's go into an app. Say I try to type something out as you can see it is not wanting to recognize my touch every time So let's go on ahead and move to the time lapse.
What's going on, everybody? This is Arv Mike, and tonight it is September 17th. Uh, this is about a week, maybe more, since I put on the um, second glass screen protector I have. Let me take this bumper off. My AM film tempered glass screen protector. Um, it has been, like I said, over a week. And the reason why I switched was, for one, I was hoping for a better resistance against fingerprints, like an oleophobic layer. And then two, I want something that was thinner. This is definitely a much thinner screen protector. Glass, tempered glass screen protector. Let's see if we can get a good view on it. You can see here from the edges, this doesn't cover the speaker all the way and it does not cover the camera. But this is a very, very super, super, super thin glass screen protector. I want to say it is 0.2 millimeters, possibly. Uh, maybe just a smidge over that. Um, as for fingerprints, I'm trying to get a couple of fingerprints on it right now through the light that you can see. And you are not really seeing much at all. Maybe a smudge, if that, but that's about it. Um, for waking the device, you can see it works a little better. I have noticed that I do not um, accidentally open apps as easily flying through the home screen. Um, I have done some more research online. A lot of people have said they've gone without a tempered glass screen protector or a screen protector in general on their... Uh, LG G4s and they're still having a touch screen issue with sensitivity trying to open wake the device uh, open up apps and whatnot and um, if you guys watch my um, time lapse of me installing this it was actually not too bad to install it was quite easy uh, this is it's holding up really well this glass screen protector I really don't have any complaints with it uh, you can see I have like zero bubbles in this zero issues with this tempered glass. Uh, I definitely recommend if you guys don't want to buy an expensive tempered glass screen protector from the store, go ahead and search this one. AM Films screen protector tempered glass for the LG G4. Um, so as just an overall review on this, it is a good screen protector. Uh, I've not had any damages with it or any issues. And that's about it. Plain and simple. Um, yeah, you can see a little bit of a smudge there. Uh, besides that, there is still some screen issues with uh, recognizing your touch on the device. And I know that's something that's probably a software thing, especially since this is across all different LG G4s. So, uh, anyway, this is RF Mike. Thank you for checking out the last part of this video. Uh, I'm going to put all three of these videos together. The very first video of the unboxing and look at, and then the time lapse in this one. And I will continue on making a few more YouTube videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments and you like the video, please remember to uh, subscribe so you can catch any other future videos I make. I make. Uh, like the video, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.